tanks rarely fight tanks in Russia's 22-month wider war on Ukraine. But rarely doesn't mean never. As a Ukrainian drone observed from overhead, two tanks, a Ukrainian T-64 and a Russian T-72B3, rolled toward each other, apparently somewhere just north of Avdivka sometime recently. Nosing through tree lines, the two Soviet-designed tanks exchanged a few rounds from their roughly identical 125mm main guns, each shooting and missing until the Russian tank popped smoke and pulled back. An explosives-laden Ukrainian drone chased after the T-72 as the tank retreated, striking it and apparently jamming its turret. The inconclusive tank battle is noteworthy for its rarity. In Ukraine, tanks usually lead infantry assaults against enemy trenches or, even more often, fire their guns at enemy positions from miles away. It also is noteworthy because it might involve the Ukrainian Army's 1st Tank Brigade, the most experienced of the Army's five tank brigades. The 1st Tank famously defended Chernihiv, in northern Ukraine, during the early weeks of Russia's wider assault on Ukraine. Lying in wait in the forests around the city, 60 miles north of Kyiv, the 1st Tank's upgraded T-64BB tanks engaged passing Russian columns at close range. Better crew training combined with short-ranged engagements where their armament was competitive, and the faster autoloader on the T-64, allowed Ukrainian tank crews to achieve significant damage against surprised Russian units. Analysts Mikhailo Zabrodsky, Jack Watling, Alexander Danilik and Nick Reynolds wrote in a study for the Royal United Services Institute in London. But the six-week defense of Chernihiv, while successful, was costly for the first tank. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky awarded the unit's 2,000 troopers a thousand battlefield citations. After counter-attacking Ukrainian units pushed the Russian invasion force out of northern Ukraine in March and April 2022, the first tank pulled back for a long period of rest and reset. The first tank rolled into action again in the summer of 2022, in Donetsk Oblast in eastern Ukraine. For 18 months, the brigade has fought in the east, deploying and redeploying its battalions to blunt Russian attacks and support Ukrainian counterattacks. As Ukraine's southern counteroffensive wound down this fall, the Russian army mobilized for what is becoming a new tradition, an early winter eastern offensive. A multi-brigade Russian force attacked toward Avdivka, a Ukrainian stronghold just northwest of Donetsk city. The two-month battle for Avdivka has been a bloodbath for the Russians. They've lost hundreds of vehicles and potentially thousands of people while inflicting far fewer casualties on Avdivka's Ukrainian garrison. But costly Russian, meat assaults, work, as long as Russia doesn't mind sacrificing thousands of lives and Ukraine does mind.